hello, D class. We are we are here. All right. So. Oh. Oh. Human. Hello, dragon. Hello. Hello, child. Hello. All I'm gonna say is dragon is probably not gonna understand what I'm gonna be talking about. It's my first words. If they haven't read what happened earlier. Uh, where would I read? And oh, family I... support. Yeah. Yeah. It's a. It's a. I think you. Point. I think you posted something about a history test right after. No, not history. <laughs> yeah, like that's that's actually pretty funny. Project. Project. Yeah. Oh, because how the fuck do you mess it up so bad that it goes from chapter one to chapter three, and the thing that you I have to do is in chapter two, and it's not there, <laughs> and it is due Monday. And I can't turn it in because it's not there. It is non-existent. Yeah. Everyone right. knows in Florida we can't count past three or two three. There's not even a chapter under three. It's just one three. Oh. All right. So, what happened to book nine? Um. Basically. Uh, after what my. What my parents told me is that after they came back to the house, they found Book Nine sitting on the stove in a burning crisp and saw a note next to it. Now, I decided to write it down on my phone so I don't forget because I wasn't thinking fully straight, obviously. Yeah. So, here's what the note said. One through eight have failed to stop them. I from nine have accepted my fate and decided to burn along with them. My only request I ask of you is never create anything from book nine again. Redesigning won't bring them back, but tread closely if you decide that path. I hope my passing helps you live, creator. Uh... They, my parents just thought that was just some druggy got inside the house somehow. So I called <laughs> the police. And they took the note, so I don't have the actual note. But they that is what was all that was on that note. Eesh. And that's and actually like, how you, yeah. fire. And like, do you remember burning the book? Uh, no. I have no memory of burning the book. We- we okay, came yeah, home it's... to it burned. <laughs> I was with them. Oh, wait, you were with them? Yeah, when we came home, I- I- I-, I yeah. So... I think your house might be haunted. Well, the old or you house, have we a don't security it. problem. We don't have that house anymore, it was sold. So that's actually what happened to book nine. I don't know what happened to book one through eight, but they've also gone missing that a very day. And that's actually how I got book ten that I'll be searching for tomorrow because I forgot. Why are you searching for it? Well, but it here's this nightmare fuel. I'm searching for the other nightmare fuel. Well, if it's just as bad as the others, I'm just going to toss it out. But I doubt it. Because it did say redesigning it won't, you know, bring them back, but tread carefully? I don't know. I'm not sure what to think of that letter. Tread carefully probably means don't do it too close to the original design. Yeah. I know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's probably fair. Please do not turn off your device. Talking about nightmare fuel so casually. From the SCP <laughs> Foundation. 
Asher, what's your thought of this? About the letter. See, that's the thing. Based upon, like, my initial thoughts, I was thinking that, like, given the things surrounding this, that, like, you had burned them and then repressed the memory, I didn't know that you just weren't at the house when it happened. Mm -hmm. In which case, that's just fucking creepy as hell. Yeah, it was, it was very, yeah, I had to go get myself McDonald's this morning to calm myself down from hearing all of that, because <laughs> that is probably the most terrifying experience I have ever witnessed. <laughs> I, like, I going along, yeah. like, going along with the theme from Babysitter of there being a squatter, I, I imagine just, like, some squatter comes in your house. Looks looks through your shit, sees that, and it's like, fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking puts it on the stove and poetically writes it, a, a a thing that's basically just a a a special way of saying this is fuck. You know what's actually funny? I can probably read that as. As a sort of story <laughs> for the horror story stream. Yeah, <laughs> straight up, I, I like at a couple points, I felt like I was reading a creepy pasta. Yeah, that's why I learned with such a message like, shit. "This is not a creepy pasta. This is actually real." <laughs> like, uh... to be fair, I've had like way creepier things happen in real life, but yeah. those were ghost things. But this is a ghost thing. I guess it still counts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we thought that we had to get used the this uh, use the crystal to buy the chainsaw, but it says, "Look, where it says it says, look like there's something missing here. Maybe it needs something to power it back on. Maybe the crystal goes here." I'm not sure if everyone was here for that. I was not here for that. Neither was I. Okay, so... Can I steal a minigun from the chopper? No. Say so, yeah. Probably. <laughs> what? Probably. <laughs> Don't encourage <laughs> this. Well, it's a video game. I'm only encouraging it in a video game, not in real life. It's bright. Well, yeah. It's bright we're talking about. She'll right. apply everything game. to real life. Time to beat this woman. Well, bright <laughs> is... She may be a chaotic and violent woman, but I'm only encouraging violence in the video game. Yeah, no. but just just saying that she can do it, she'll just immediately take that and say, Oh, okay. I can do it everywhere. Did no one hear what I said? Yes. Yes, yes you're talking we did. about beating another woman. He <laughs> just, just dodged me to say that. Time to beat this woman. <laughs> uh. Look, Is if you're bad? both violent women, I don't care if you beat each other up. <laughs> Is it bad that I think I'm high on drugs while flying a helicopter? Maybe. Yes. Yeah. Eh. Nothing bad's happened so far. Well, if you die, you won't feel anything. So, yeah, Dragon, what do you feel about that letter? Because you probably had no idea what was going on. <laughs> what the what the fuck? That's... Um... Oh, this is making me nauseous. Are you gonna do, like, ghost stories or something on Halloween? Well, I already had a three games planned, so... Oh... Yeah, so yeah. Yeah, plus we kind of decided to just, uh, say to hell with doing another scary story stream until I get my ass in gear and finish some stories as well as, uh, proofread. Bright's second chapter. Mm -hmm. I always thought scary stories were different than ghost stories, though. So not all ghost stories are scary. Yeah, that's fair. 
And oh, I mean, to me, fair. ghosts, like, ge in general, ghosts feel so normalized because I grew up around them. Hmm. But I just find them as terrifying as a door most of the time. <laughs> I mean, think about it. If you see a door every day, do you find it scary? If, you, no, if I see a ghost often enough, do you think I find it scary? Aren't doors rumors, rumors like if you have two doors right in front of each other and you look through both of them, aren't they like, aren't they said to be like portals? What? The fuck you talking about? I don't know, but like the ghost shit portals are actually teleporting. Right, not me, the guard. Have you been on Reddit? No. Oh fuck. Ow, ow, ow. Have you? No. Okay. Yeah. I love how we've just been kind of rambling about all sorts of stuff while Bright's over here desperately fighting the level one boss. I'm fighting my ex-girlfriend. one enemy. The fuck? Your ex- Okay, number one, why did you date her? Number two, what did she do to deserve that? <laughs> why are you slowly beating her to death? Uh, number three, incredibly why- Incredibly slowly. Number three, why is she hopped up on cocaine or some shit? <laughs> oh, she wait, on a- on a talcum powder. Slash by <laughs> Wait, I can't say that. The child's here. Fuck. <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck that is. So... Okay, good. Don't look it up. Okay, good. How the fuck did... Uh, okay, no, I'm not gonna question it. Good. Maybe I just didn't hear what you said, but... I heard no, dust. I'm fine I'm with that. Little citizen, if you are hearing this tape, then the world as we knew it has finished. Unless you said angel last I, would, I know what that is. Welcome to Unlocked, no. where we have a physical modified one of the model. Please report this machine to your local police officer at once. Do you want to hear some dumb Twitter shit? Sure. <laughs> A bit, I've, been, I've been avoiding Twitter for a while. Might as well hurt my brain a little. Okay, so it's it's <sighs> okay. So there's this one weird guy on Twitter, and he's pretty like decently fo uh, popular. He has like a four thousand following. Uh, but he's like he's fucking weird, and has done a lot of fucking weird shit. Uh, so I called him out on it. Not only just me, but like some other people. Um, I, I don't know how to put it into words because it's just this guy's so fucking just. Jesus Christ, I think he needs to go outside sometime. Just, I, I think he needs to, just to sign off of Twitter and just. Are you just in a loop of fighting? Right. <laughs> fighting more of my ex girlfriends. How many do you have? Nine. Nine? You counted? Five. Why do you have so many? What did you do? Cause no, this just feels like it's not even just they broke up with you or something. What did you do to all of these girls? Uh, they all did, uh, something called cheating. Oh. Oh. I was guessing it was the copious amount of illicit drug abuse. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. <laughs> oh. So fuck. Oh. Either way, um, okay, what the fuck? What? I need to find all of the shrines so that I can blow them the fuck up. Holy shit. Holy but like shit. this guy annoyed me, and I was just gonna block him and move on. But he annoyed the fuck out of me, so I made an entire thread calling out his weird ass behavior and shit, and the fact that he is making weird like fetish and NSFW shit in a fandom full of 
uh, minors that is a medium, like the game is a medium targeted at all ages, but especially kids. And I called him out on it. Uh, but I called him cishet. And he was like, um, did you actually- uh, actually, I'm not cis, I'm trans? And I'm like, okay, I don't give a fuck. He's a- he's a fucking, uh, trans het guy. So it's just like, okay, you're still a guy. You're still a man that fetishizes lesbians, because the only ship that he ships are straight ones and lesbian ones. And he claims that he just likes the artwork, but there are so many more, like- there are three times more, like, men-loving men ships and sh uh, fan art of those ships than there are lesbian ones. So it's just like... Mm. Uh, I had to screenshot this, uh, because of a certain number, I'm not gonna say why. <laughs> <laughs> no, you have to get them all- you have to get the numbers all the same. Then it's-, it's that's, that's pretty much physically impossible, since I don't think they can use MP right now. That is fair. How the fuck- how- how in this hellhole do you use MP? Bullets. What? Bullets use MP? I have no idea. Oh. <laughs> if you don't know- if you don't know what- just don't say something like that with such sincere certainty in your voice. Wait, I just realized guard and- there's a guard in my physical, and there's a guard right under physical. <laughs> Yeah. Easy access, I guess. Just in case you need to double guard. The basic guard reduces damage by... The, the basic guard I'm gonna die. reduces damage quite a bit. But the double guard... Uh, the, the double guard actually negates the first guard, so you take full damage. No. Uh the weirdest thing about the dude is the fact that even though in my thread I said, hey, don't harass anyone mentioned in this thread, just block him and move on. Um, he didn't say it when he took a screenshot of it and posted it publicly to his 4,000 followers. And guess who got harassed? By grown-ass adults. I fucking hate the twi- uh, I'll hate the internet. But I think the worst part is the fact that he blocked me but he keeps taking screenshots of my shit up obviously about him. Even though I've only tweeted out like publicly on my own Twitter account like twice. Because he's just a fucking weirdo on the internet. And but he just annoys the fuck out of me. But like he's No, because the weirdest part is he looks up his whole name, I'm pretty sure, because there are several people that are calling him out. Because he's yeah. a fucking weirdo. And he's- he keeps responding to him, and it's all like different ages, because at first he was like, Oh, it's all these kids being immature and saying that, oh, and it's- it's like, dude. No. I, is, he's 18. Like, I knew a, I was gonna die. This is, a, this is a grown man, in art school, saying this shit. It's like, dude, get alive! You have shit to do! Like, damn! I, I knew I was gonna die because they, they, every time I used that physical attack, it had a 50 50 chance of hitting instead of just yeah. hitting. Why are you going back in there? Because I have to get a key. Oh. I think it's something that's past this lady. Yes, time to murder my ex girlfriend. Wait, oh Where no, there's two uh, of them. Uh, they're, uh, they're, they're unionizing, get out of there! <laughs> <laughs> Your girlfriends are, Your girlfriends are unionizing. unionizing! Oh god, no! <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> <laughs> but like, this fucking- There we this go. Dude, there we go. Deadass, oh. But this dude deadass said that he can't fetishize lesbians because he's never drawn any lesbian relationships and is a trans headman, and it's like- my brother what? is the fucking spaghetti monster above. You are a man. A heterosexual man. That only Why do you like call himself a trans hit man? Huh? If he's a cis man, why do you call himself trans? Oh, he, he's, he's trans. He's a trans heterosexual man. Oh, okay then. Now, the, the child messed up at first. 
Okay. I'm pretty sure trans hat is correct. Like, he's trans and... No, you messed up by calling him cis. That's what I mean. Did I? Yes. Yeah, oh. at, at first you <laughs> okay. said that you called him a cis hat male. Yeah, I accidentally called him a cis hat man, because... Why the fuck would I look that deep into some annoying ass bastard online or give a shit? I mean, is it in his. What? what no. What, was it in his. Uh, nope. Profile? No? Nope. No pronouns, uh, just the male symbol. Ah. Uh, yeah, he's one of those fuckers. What, 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 what does that mean? Annoying people. <laughs> I have never not seen someone that just uses one of the sex symbols that is, like, is trans, that is proud of the fact that they're trans, and have just the sex symbol in their, their bio. They're usually just annoying. Yeah. Or oddly turfy, despite being trans. It, it, it seems commonly as if they want to avoid the conservative stigma around having pronouns in bio. Even though it's just generally a very useful thing. Yeah, like, pronouns are just a part of language. Like, damn. Like, it's it's literally just, like, inc an incredibly convenient way to make it clear what pronouns you use. It's, it's not difficult. Not only that, but my friend called him out for us, uh, like, obviously not... Like, obviously being, like, uh, posting my thread that I deleted because I was getting harassed. Putting it on his, uh, publicly for his 4,000 followers. Uh, called him out for it and that it could very well get me in trouble as, like, a minor and shit. Like, getting doxxed because, yeah. Jesus fucking Christ, uh. the internet is horrible. Um, and he was, like... He, he not First, he blocked my friend, so my friend couldn't even see his reply. But then he replied to my friend going... No need to pull the minor card, despite pulling the trans card, after I accidentally called him a cis man. Not to, not to mention the fact that this same person, uh, was apparently, like, mo like, mo like, acting as if the only people criticizing them were children. Yes, in a fandom that is, guess what, targeted at kids, cause it's a g- a- a game for 12 year olds and up. And only that- No, cause I think the weirdest fucking part of that, about this guy is- So there's this one character in Cookie Run, cause this is a fucking Cookie Run fan artist, I feel like- Ugh, that fucking- tw The Twitter fandom of Cookie Run is actual ass. But- Yeah. So there's this one character called Pastry Cookie, and she's very- Very obviously based off of Christian sisters. Uh, and he- not only ships a ship between her and this guy who literally despise each other and disagree on like a moral level that I of e each other existing and tried to kill each other, uh, but he draws her in a very uh, obviously like over sexualized way and like, draws her in stuff that's like, for her being a canonically re really religious woman, is like, hey bro, that's kind of fucking weird, man. Like, that's, like, she's, she represents, like, an actual, like, type of religion shit, man. Like, what the fuck? Oh, uh, Chew's like shutting A in, in chat. Oh. Hello. Hi, Chew. But not only that, he also ships, uh, he only draws sh straight ships, and they're not even fucking good ones either. He only ships them for toxic reasons. Like, them actually abusing uh, each other. Hold on. Uh. Dra she says dragon stop talking about sexualization and chat bad and he doesn't even censor any of it either he only just once. recently started censoring it and it's like ugh. yeah again like that that's that's again like my general stance on this like i would be fine with this if they were just doing content like it, like, like you can, you can do what you want to do, you know, do toxic ships, whatever, you know, it's fiction. Just make it clear to people that might not want to see that. That that is a part of this post that you're doing. Not only that, it's, it's not hard. Not only that, he also ships two characters. Like he mo posts the most art about this one ship, and one of the characters is like pomegranate cookie. I feel like. Jiri knows who that is, but she is very obviously lesbian coded. 
pomegranate cookie? Yeah. And he ships her with a man. Not only that, but also constantly posts about her abusing the said guy. And oh, even, like, yeah, pomegranate cookie, looking her up. I remember her now. She's yeah. uh, totally in love with the evil queen cookie thing. Yeah. Like, I, I don't get why you picked that crazy lady, but I, I guess you do you. Mm-hmm. But he ships those uh, he ships those two as his main thing. Like, no, I think the weirdest part is one of his art got select- selected by the game uh, on Instagram itself, like the game's Instagram. Uh, but the thing is, they chose one piece of art, and it was literally pomegranate just, like, beating the living fuck out of licorice. And like cropped it so it was that one image and it's just her beating the living fuck out of him and it's like dude they do not support that shit they don't i don't think they see it that you are shipping those two i think they see it as pomegranate is beating the living fuck out of someone she hates canonically This is an illegal modified wonderful model please report this yeah she's in love with dark and Tantris, right yeah like that ship, that ship isn't really fucking good because it's like. Mm, well, both of but... them are toxic people. What are you, what are you expecting? Yeah, fair point. But it, I don't know. It's like they're canonically together, but they're both canonically evil. I, I don't I, think. I think it's not even. I don't think it's a mutual pining thing. I think it's just. Uh, it's just on pomegranate's end. I I think we, I like how we switch from one evil to the next. <laughs> I like how we can all agree, like, this guy's just fucking awful. Ugh. Okay, if my oh, theory yeah. is correct, crystal move from inventory. Communicator is now powered on. Yes! I was right! I was right! Hello, come in, found a SCP Foundation. Come in. Is that you, Officer Monroe? Yes, I need your help. One month later... Today, we take control of this hellhole and avenge our brothers in arms. Yeah, who? Company advance. Okay, that was a lot quicker. That only took 41 minutes. Oh. And most of that time, we were just talking about Book 9. <laughs> yeah, the majority of that was spent rambling about Twitter. And, and Book 9. <laughs>